Hello everybody and welcome to Path of Acra. This is a little game that I've tri tried out in a few different stages of its development on this channel. I've streamed it a couple of times and I've posted a couple of runs of it. That's what this is going to be. It's going to be another run. So if you're unfamiliar with Path of Acra, Path of Acra is a independently developed, very small game made by a fellow named Ulfsire. Uh, I initially found this game just recommended through Itch. Uh, I've actually chatted with him. There's a, a little interview on this YouTube channel with the developer of it, and uh, he's been developing it on Itch primarily, but recently released the same build on Steam, so if you're for some reason interested in trying out this game, you can either get the demo for free on Itch or on Steam, uh, but it is quite literally just a full game kind of in a uh, in active development kind of way. Now, um, I, as I said, I've been playing it on and off uh, throughout uh, its development and trying it here and there and seeing what I think of it and giving it a shot. And uh, it's, it's very much kind of a build-focused... Um roguelike. So it, it follows the kind of traditional roguelike structure. Uh, it's a single screen, very much a coffee break kind of feeling roguelike. And uh, you have a, a selection of different uh, kind of factions that you can play, or I guess classes. And then here, well, and then here in the middle is the class type, and then you select your god. So your class itself sets your base stats. This kind of sets what you're going to be good at from the get-go in your starting gear, and uh, gives you some bonuses. And then this is how you select um, what, uh, like, uh, kind of your your abilities per se, or your prayers. Um, so for this particular run, uh, there's there's a build that I've been wanting to try, which is uh, the Albez, uh, which is a, a nigh immortal denizen of the normal ice cave, no northern ice caves uh, amplified healing with tattoos with tattooed charms uh, we get extra life some speed some strength some dexterity some will and we get resistance to ice and uh, on prayer we heal ourselves so when I stop to pray I heal now the second part of this that I would like to take is the zealot now the zealot um basically uh gives you very makes you very melee focused um and uh it, it, it gives you extra charges for your prayers, and uh, it starts you off with a, a, a flail and a sash, and a, extra, a little bit of extra life and a little bit of extra speed. And then the god we're going to take down here is Dorok. So Gor Dorok is the god of the stoic resolve and an honor honorable combat, and it rewards injury and perseverance. So one other thing about this game before we actually jump into this particular run, uh, you don't start with all of these classes unlocked. You kind of have to unlock them, but as you can see down here, I've, I've, uh, I've uh, out of 20, completely unlocked everything. Uh, recently, there was a Templar and a Summoner added that I haven't tried yet. Um, and I don't think I've tried the Kumar yet. Uh, the last uh, culture I've tried is the Skeleton. Of course, a noble culture. Indeed, as a Skeleton myself, I, I respect any other fellow Skeleton folk out there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, another thing about this game is it will be releasing on Steam and I assume on Itch um, for I think it's 5 or $10 is what the developer is planning on charging for it. Somewhere around there. Um, so definitely if you're interested in this, check this out and uh, chuck it onto your wish list because I, I've, pu I've put like 12 hours into this demo now. It's kind of become a game that I pop up and play in the background more often than not. So, uh, as we jump in, uh, we're, we're going to, I think, uh, just kind of crank some some stuff into our vigor here. Uh, but we have four different selections uh, for our starting glory, so we can put uh, points into uh, uh, strength, which gives us life, block, uh, hit, and less damage taken. Uh, we can put uh, points into Dexterity, uh, which gives us Dodge and Chance to Block, Accuracy and Speed, and uh, we can put points into Willpower, which gives us Healing and uh, determines your maximum number of summoned allies. And then lastly, uh, Vigor, which just, just gives us a really big bonus in life. So I think we're, we're going to start off by selecting uh, Strength, bumping up our Strength, giving us ourselves a little bit of extra health. Now. From here, if I hit uh, escape and we jump up to controls, uh, you can see that tab is autoplay, so the game just kind of guesses what the best place to move to is. Um, because the game is primarily focused on builds and uh, putting together different uh, abilities. Um, there are certain builds where uh, you don't need to do a lot of targeting. You'll either have a bunch of auto-firing abilities or a bunch of summoned allies, and there, there's actually points where, uh, especially if you're playing something like the Skeleton, it's better to just stand still than to do anything else. So uh, auto-play might actually not be a bad option from certain things. Space is to stand still, uh, enters to confirm, uh, etc. And then uh, you can activate your prayers with 1, 2, and 3 on the keyboard. Very simple controls, and then you can either use mouse or numpad to move. 
So I will be using uh, mouse. And then also uh, a feature that uh, was added recently that I'm quite fond of actually is uh, changing the color of the backgrounds here. So if you're like, man, I don't like just the jet black and you want something a little bit maybe easier on the eyes or a slightly different color. Like I personally really like this kind of Caves of Cud vibe. So I'm gonna go with this. Um, and then up here, uh, this is our, these are our abilities. So these are the different uh, skill trees. Um, we can select three of these and then uh, we can fill uh, this up, which becomes our uh, set of abilities per se. Um, so I think I'm just going to start off here with pyrokinesis, um, which is uh, going to deal fire damage to all adjacent units. And um, on non-adjacent hits, deal fire damage in one tile uh, in the area of the target, and then on kill, deal uh, fire damage to all units in a two-tile range. So we're going to um, grab that once I uh, figure out how to confirm it. Where, where's the confirm button? A, hmm. It used to just be double click. Is it now click and drag? Can I not learn things on this? Hmm. Oh, I see. I see what I need to click. There we go. They moved the button since I last played. All right, sweet. So um, we, we, we grab that now. And uh, then the, the next thing, I think I'm probably going to take Burning Heart. So we're going to learn that as well. Uh, as you can see, uh, we still have two points left. So uh, from here, uh, I'm going to grab Guard, which is going to... So... Essentially, uh, we, we grabbed ourselves uh, Pyrokinesis on, on the first hit, which allows us to deal fire damage, as I said, and then apply Scorch, and this is going to give us, on doing damage to other things, we're going to heal ourselves. Now, remember, our prayers also heal ourselves. So we're going to deal fire damage uh, to, to things and heal ourselves. So we're kind of suddenly now healing. Um, I'm going to grab Guard, which is going to give us... Uh, plus 25 block and plus 25 armor and extra encumbrance, um, and also a shrug off chance. Um, so w if we shrug off or block, uh, we perform an offhand hit. So if we have, say, say we're dual, dual wielding weapons or something, uh, we'll, we'll get an offhand hit here, um, which is very useful. Now, um, as I said, we can hit tab to auto move, or I can just smack things. Um, and then down at the bottom there, you're going to see our little combat log. Uh, now, if you're like me and you played games uh, in the 90s, this this might this game might feel a little bit uh, familiar or uh, even nostalgic. I, I will say this is a game that certainly feels nostalgic for me. Uh, if you're curious about what the enemies do, you can click on them up here in the top right, and it'll say. So they these guys resist fire 75%. That's a little suboptimal for me currently. Uh, but uh, fortunately, these guys uh, are going to fall over pretty quick, so I'm not too worried. We are still going to be healing ourselves, so I guess our... Our hope here is to just simply sustain through this guy. We are doing more damage to him than he is doing to us, so that is a good thing. Plus, we're still doing fire damage to him, so we're still healing. Uh, everything just starts repeating there because uh, that's just the way this game works. Uh, we're going to pump into our strength once again because that is uh, currently what we're going to need primarily. Uh, you can see health up there in the in the top uh, left up there. Um, fortunately, when we get those crits in and the attacks start repeating, uh, we just like grind through them pretty quickly. And then, ooh, you're taking a couple hits to fall over. Easy. And then we hit tab, jump to the exit, press enter, fly through, move on. Um, so we're going to start getting our build together once we start getting items at the end of each zone. So we're on the last floor of this zone, I think. Uh, and when we hit the next the, the zone, you're going to kind of see the overworld map uh, where we can select where we go next. Um, something else that this game does really, really well that I'm quite fond of actually is up here up the top, you can see our name and you can see, uh, you know, our, our uh, culture, our class and our god. Um, in between, when we get to the overworld, you're going to start to see uh, little bits of um, kind of... Uh, ooh, a swift blade. That's actually very good for us. Um, you're going to start to see a... Uh, how, how do I word this? Kind of a story forming of like what this adventurer did. And I, I really, really enjoy that part of it. Um, so we have a... Ooh, on an initial attack, uh, use an extra attack. So we, we have this guy up here, this flail, right? Um, and uh, we are going to... Uh, grab you in the main hand, I think. So this, uh, 200 accuracy, 100 hit, 160 hit slash plus 15 block. Oh, that's actually pretty good because that extra block that we have. Um, and, then, and then you down here, it's 120 accuracy, 160 hit and blunt. Um, so I think we're going to throw you into the offhand here. So we're going to run around with two weapons now. Uh, and then we're going to jump over to the exit. And uh, we do have uh, two points that we can spend. I'm sitting here and thinking, uh, what, what would be good here? Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of I'm gonna be looking at this tree over here a lot until we can afford more stuff from the fire tree, um, and I'm also going to be uh, eh, not not the tenacity. I I, th I think per level if you're fighting with two bare fists. So uh, 
I kind of just want to punch things. Um, I think what I might actually do here is just level up uh, pyrokinesis. And uh, we're going to jump through here. We're also going to be leveling up Burning Heart a little bit. And hope, yeah, okay, sweet. So uh, for the, the enemies in the next zone are beetles, and I hit tab faster than I was intending to. But up, up there at the top um, is the uh, kind of wording of what's going on in the new zone. So here, if you see, there is kind of like a little AOE appearing around me. That's because there's a dragon. So you resist fire 25%. That's not too bad. It's a pity we don't have any ice damage right now. Um, but uh, these guys, they're, they're still weak to us, the ice beetles. So um, in a few turns, fire is going to start going off because dragon is nearby. So we can dodge its attacks by simply walking around them. Fortunately, uh, fire is not too much of a concern for us. Which is what we want. Fire can still go off after they've died, so gotta move through. A little bit of a gonna be a little bit careful there. Um I think I'm going to Hmm. Give me one point in Dex. This is gonna mostly be like Dex and Strength. So we got the blocks, we get the extra hit. Which is what's going on there. Blocks, we get the extra hit. Perfect. Step out of that. Walk around. Final floor. And it's just a dragon, and then you can see loot behind him. Curious if this... Okay, we got the blocks. We get the extra hits. Quite a few blocks. So we get a few extra hits, which gives us the AoE. We're going to level up strength again. We're going to step around here. Got the block. Okay, face mask of blinding red. What does that do? Okay, it gives us blood resistance. Okay, and plus one encumbrance. Um, so we are a little bit encumbered right now. So currently, uh, because of the, the amount of stuff we're, we're wielding, we are slowed down. We do have worse dodge. So I could put this on, but if I wear this, um, that's going to increase our encumbrance, right? So I'm actually going to take that off for right now, unless we need it. And we're going to jump back up here to the overworld. So here in the overworld, you can see that we sense, uh, in this area, which is a tower here, you sense rocks that are smeared with dung. A terrible stench of bleak beasts haunt here. Uh, you hear a rattle of crude armor in the distance and a shrieking roar. You see a horrific statue made of dung. It is the shape of a crown. You will find a praised relic of a burning of the burning serpent, a cult, a pair of red and violet leggings, and a helm in, etched in enchanted in gold and a shimmering blue necklace. Uh, this guy does astral damage, which is fine. Um, and up here, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to give us a bit more of sustain. So I'm going to spend my two points on burning heart, level up burning heart, and uh, move forward, I think. We're going to move forward. Um, all right, well, these guys just kind of teleport to your location. So we're going to have dudes on top of us. We get the initial double hit. It's definitely dragons. These little guys don't do too much, I don't think. Yeah, they're, they're, they just do a little bit of slash damage. They smack. Uh, yeah, these are the guys doing astral damage, and they can teleport to a random location to apply, apply five stasis to this unit. Um, so they're easy to kill when they do that. And then these dragons, which weren't too much of a problem the last time. So this is kind of like your your first tower, and the towers are kind of like boss zones that have uh, fancy loot drops at the end. Now, ooh, we got rats. Um, now, the the thing about these uh, the, the these towers is they are optional. You can kind of skip them sometimes, um, but uh, they're kind of like the difficulty checks. So when we finish this, it, the game's gonna get quite a bit harder uh, if it's anything like last time. These guys don't are really weak to psychic damage, but it's fine. They take fire damage. They do poison, so you have to be a little aware of that. And then you appear there, and we just immediately kill you. Um, it appears that those uh, their arrows aren't super threatening to us, so I guess that's a good thing. Uh, we're gonna take um, another point in strength and just move forward. And look at this. So every time we block, we just spew up fire. So we block or shrug off, and we just become a death wall, which is kind of why this build's kind of fun. Look at that. That's a combo. Just, you know, just killing things <laughs> as it goes. What are you even going to do about a Ratman? They fire, and I just become a wall. 
Like, what are you even gonna do? That's kinda great. All right, moving forward. We vanquish the Ratman. Same thing happens. We get the blocks. And that's why I wanted to try this build because it becomes a just kind of hysterical wall of fire pretty quickly. All right. Bunch of dudes teleported. And we get another level. Let's uh, see what we got here. You know, I, I'm always tempted to just like deal fire and poison damage to target. Summon a number of oozes on ooze attacking an enemy. Summon, uh, okay, so, but the problem is, is we're gonna kill our own oozes. So I, I don't know if I really wanna do that. Um, mm. Tenacity gives plus 15 armor and minus one f 15 encumbrance and on entrance we heal ourselves. Uh, hmm. It's a nice little defensive thing. I think uh, possibly the direction I want to be going is maybe psychokinesis a little bit. There's a few other there's a few directions I could go with this. I need some sort of other form of damage. I'm way too much. Um, ooh, warrior of the mind could be useful. Uh, on adjacent hit, if wielding. If two wielding, if two wielding weapon, okay, deal psychic damage in a line starting from the target. If two wielding weapon, does that mean if I'm dual wielding? I'm assuming that's what that means. Um, each point spent in psychic grants plus two psychic resistance. We could also uh, go in this direction and go death damage. Uh, we could take poison. Uh, minus one duration of any sickness applied to you on being attacked by an adjacent enemy. Deal poison to the attacking unit. We could poison and burn. Maybe we grab this. I just want to be a wall, is my goal. Now we need to make sure that the... Yeah, the, the poison damage went off. See? That man applies, but uh, this also gives us resistance to that poison. I guess these guys are the, the greatest be to be testing off po poison damage on because they, they do kind of resist it, don't they? All right, so the Burrow King rises from his pile of dung. Squeak, squeak, such horrific nobility. Look, we got a uh, an idol. Hold up, let me just take a peek at that. Plus one encumbrance on dealing poison damage. Deal 50 fire damage in a path to the target. Okay, me like. We'll wield that in... Hold on. What, what, what's the damage on you? 70 accuracy, 80 hit. Yeah, we'll wield you in the offhand. Oh, I see enemies nearby. Can't do it. All right, this is a little sketch. So here's the Rat King. We are doing damage to him quite a bit. Nice. Also getting plenty of heals. Yeah, we're also getting those poisons off now, which is good. I'm sure, that fi I'm sure these dragons are assisting us. Kind of hoping I'd get a dodge, yet we did. Pick that up. Got that helm. That was promised. And our glory rises. And we also get an ice necklace. Uh, let's check out our inventory again. Plus six in... Ooh, that's a lot of encumbrance. I much prefer that blood resist. But you are going to go into the offhand. Uh, you... Okay, so we actually have encumbrance again, so we're good. Um, because this is quite a bit lighter than what we were using before. Yeah, this is, what, one encumbrance instead of three? So this allows us to put on this helm. And uh, on apply freeze... Resist ice. On apply freeze, deal ice damage in a pass. So I guess I have to be applying freeze in order for that to be valid. Uh, it does also give me the one encumbrance. I do have one space, though. I'm being attacked, heal yourself. Ooh. Actually, what's the armor on this? Plus 10. Does this over encumber me? Yeah, okay. I think I, I will stick with the mask of blood uh, until we get... Also, I, I, you know, I might as well put on the 
the necklace as well, because I, I do have the one extra encumbrance, and like it's, it's ice resist, so might as well have it. Okay, so now we have two options of where we can go. We can go up, or we can go down. So if we go up to the Dune Sea, you sense a huge nest of acrid-smelling moss, and Arg Arga priests live here, which are these guys. Um, they're weak to ice, but resist fire. And then down here, we got these guys that are even better against fire. Well, that's great. <sighs> At least we'll get a different change of scenery here. But it's fine. We also have a lot of fire resist, so... We'll win eventually. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're also poisoning them, so uh, they, they get to deal with our uh, anger, I suppose. <laughs> we get to move down just a little bit. We're getting more poisons out, which is good. We also get a bunch of poison stacks if we get those double and triple hits for the, for the dodges. Perfect. Moving down. Easy peasy. Continuing forward. But yeah, like I was saying earlier in the video, uh, definitely check this game out if it's something that intrigues you. It's it's definitely one of the games that's captured me quite a bit recently. Uh, by that, I mean over the last year or so as it's developed. I first found it uh, in, like I think, spring of 2022. Um, so I've just kind of been following it on and off since. Oh, curious to see that. It's going to be heavy, I think, though. Uh, inventory, what would it, would it? Six encumbrance, oh gosh. It hits fire damage, does an air AOE attack. Okay, so if, if I'm dual wielding it, it does. All right, so that's what two wielding means, I suppose. Um, it's an odd way to word that. I kind of want to grab these, but also that's that's going to be kind of a negative. Um, I think we're going to level up our guard, um, which is going to help us uh, defend here a little bit. And then, yeah, that's that's going to be us moving forward. Also, the blood resist was smart there. All right, so we got two zones we can go here. Um, all right, well, these guys are not strong against fire. Uh, you, you find a skirt clink of clinking bones and a mighty hammer crafted from by a mountain cult. And then down here is a pair of dull purple leggings. I'm going to go here, obviously, uh, because they uh, have no fire resistance. Oh, gosh. But the uh, unknown enemy are these guys. Uh, these are chimera beetles. They just resist everything. <laughs> Great. I don't like chimera beetles very much. Uh, they do a bunch of AoE damage and they resist everything. But hopefully we can just get a bunch of dodges off, off on them and uh, deal with them. They also heal enemies that are nearby. So uh, we're going to see a lot of repeating attacks here, I think. But fortunately, I don't take damage very effectively, so I guess that's a good thing. We're going to get a bunch of... Yeah, okay. So we're able to just whittle them down pretty quickly. Our build is pretty good against this. Um, I think I'm going to throw... Uh, I think we're going to actually go with dex this time. Give us a little bit more dodge. Because I'm kind of hoping uh, the dodge will just give us even more repeating attacks which will be a good direction for us to go here. Look at those poisons we get off on him. If I actually select him, 37 chance to hit. Eh, this could be better, but, you know, we, we are doing pretty well on that, I would say. All right, continuing to move up. This game's just got such a vibe, though, and uh, I really have to say hats off to Ulfsire for uh, his artwork, because it just, it it suits the game so well. So I'm just going to let that Chimera Beetle hit, sit there while I hit the other guy. Take all that damage, grab the, the Skirt of Crinkling Bones and that hammer. All right, let's, let's see that hammer. Because maybe, maybe, like, the way forward is to swap over to... Um, this focus but that costs six minus one in flexibility plus six speed if two wielding a weapon perform a number of extra attacks because that would just stack and i do have those two pretty good uh two-handers so i think i'm going to save up six level points now i'm going to work our way towards that um so these guys stock the land uh, they're weak to astral they don't have any resistance to fire Okay, so it's the same in both. So a thorny vine swaddled sash or an enormous club of the feral lands. I think we're going to go for the enormous club of the feral lands because I'm just a little curious. We're going to go check this out. Um, I'm going to put more points into strength. We're going to move north. Uh, these guys up here, they kind of do a little AoE thing. They're very weak to psychic damage. Um, 
but we should be able to just kind of batter them down. And um, they don't always fire out those AoEs, so as long as we get the repeated dodges, we should be good. I mean, just look at that. Just look at this. We're just grinding them down. Just that repeated stack of extra hits for all the dodges. And then we moved down here and take him out. This is going to be a long fight, I think. But uh, if you've played a game called Rift Wizard, this game very much has a kind of a similar feeling, although not as absolutely gal galaxy and brain scale. Um, you don't have to have like a, a, a university degree in mathematics and massive brain thought process to be able to play this game. Uh, unlike Rift Wizard, which is a, a game for university graduates of the highest degree and not people like myself, um, I, I'm more of a uh, screw around and find out and less of a uh, I'm going to sit here and just, you know, uh, spend weeks theory crafting the perfect build of 87 different abilities and how they're going to perfectly combo so that I can defeat everything with Magic Missile. It's not quite that kind of thing because you are quite limited on the number of abilities that you get on each individual character and uh it's it's not too difficult to just kind of look at them and like kind of suss out what, what what does what an enormous club so i'm curious about this club maybe we can use this club until we swap over to the double two-handed things oh it is a two-hander cool 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 um well hmm. i guess we'll, we'll just move forward <laughs> currently still uh, un until uh we get something a little different. So here, uh, ooh, you're really weak to fire. Okay, these guys we know go down pretty quickly. Uh, so you hear the hiss uh, of obscene vapors. Uh, you will find a robe worn by monks, a mysterious of a mysterious order, and a shifting pale green spear. Okay, now that I'm interested in. We're gonna go hit tower two, the purple tower. Let's move out. Uh, we're going to once again. Oh, maybe I should level up something that would heal me. Eh, we should be okay. Um, let's move forward. There is a dragon on the map. I'm gonna move back so he gets hit by whatever that AoE is. We're getting our heals out, which is good. Oh, it's their AoE, okay, interesting. So we're on to up to level 13 now. So we got these guys here now, which are, uh, they resist poison and resist blood, but fortunately we have fire. Wanna get hit by as many things as possible. This entire build is essentially just get me hit by as many things as possible so that I get as much AoE damage as possible. And just become an absolute AoE monster because that is the entire point of this build. Moving down a little ways and then over to the side here, smacking all of this. Let's move down, level up strength once again, stacking strength to become an AoE monster. Perfect. Two more points and then we can grab that two-hander upgrade so that we can get that multiple extra attacks because we're just sitting on so many two-handed weapons right now. It would be an absolute shame to not take advantage of them. Oh, thank you there uh, to, to, that, to the mounted, uh, what's your name? Storm Knight for uh, taking out the big uh, red noodle for me. It's very kind of you, in fact. Awesome. Moving forward. Jumping now. I think this is the last floor of this zone. Yeah, runs are pretty quick. It feels good. I there's something about this game. I, I it's 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 not that often that games like like I love traditional roguelikes and and these kinds of turn-based uh, build games, but they I generally kind of just stick to the ones I know, and I don't always um, move forward. But uh, because I I, there, there's just something about this one that it just it 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 I like it <laughs> just way, way more than I, I I tend to with these types of games. Even though it's one of my favorite genres, I tend to be very mono game and I stick to games that I know already. And learning new ones is always kind of a, a cumbersome thing for me that I don't always do. All right, so we're taking you out. Here comes that fume drake, who's poison heavy, but it seems like we're burning it. That's good. We're still burning it. It is poisoning me. We are getting some pretty heavy poison stacks, but currently we're doing all right. I can pray, which I'm gonna start using to negate some of those poison snack stacks, uh, which I actually haven't been using. My prayers are up here at the top. We, we just currently have Grim Contemplation, which heals me, right? Um, and also fires off my abilities if we're dodging. Um, so uh, we get that Shimmering Violet Spear. Uh, not a two-hander, though. Two encumbrance? Hmm. Interesting. Teleport to the closest enemy and perform an, an extra attack. What's that hit for? It's pierce. You know, I kind of... 
kind of want to offhand this. Does it have to be in the main hand to do that? On stand still, teleport. Okay, so we have to stand still to use it. Let's try that. I'm just really curious about how that works. All right, so these weird long leg creepy things that are weak to fire, which is probably where we're going to go. And then you guys are resistant to poison, so we're going to go bottom side. So this just teleports me right on top of their faces. Ooh, that lightning damage. Ow, we almost died. And they heal me. That was kind of scary. <laughs> All right, so we got to be wary of that. Also, I feel like I've kind of screwed up here. But uh, we're going to grab um, focus now uh, so we can swap over to a double, a dual wielding weapon. See how this goes. Yeah, it's the, it's the lightning damage. I think right now that's causing us grief. I'm going to heal. Remove the negative effects. Use my prayer again. Heal again. Heal again. All right, well, that's that floor done. Um, I'm kind of looking at the Agra Axe. Wield in main hand. Put in bags. So, and down here, we also have this. The problem is, is now we're encumbered again. Um, on dealing more than 50 physical damage, apply repulsion. Um, we also have different uh, pants that I could swap to. <laughs> Apologies. Um, we have different pants that we could swap to dealing slash damage. What damage do you do? Uh, you hit with fire damage. Okay. Um, on dealing fire damage, 50% uh, of the damage is dealt as astral. We're going to swap to that, which I should have done a little while ago, I'm thinking. And uh, you do 240. Hmm. I really want to put that on, but that's just going to hit me uh, in the encumbrance a bit. All right, so let's see how this goes. Now, we aren't doing as big of a AoE because we need them to hit us. Oh, man. We fall over almost... Oh, I see. We got too many stacks. I should have... Ah. I should have used my... Uh, my grim contemplation and healed off of that. Darn. Yeah, it seems to be the um, the long legs poison uh, just kind of took us out. But look at this wonderful flavor dialogue down here. Uh, the long legs leans over you and it chitters excitedly and it kills you. I love the, the flavor text around this game. It's just really well done. Really, really, really well done. Not an incredible run, but hey. You know, we, we made it all the way up to, uh, we killed 178 enemies. Um, the, the, the total build that, that we did here, um, well, here, we can read through this. Uh, Ayas, the Albaz Zealot of Dorok, killed by long legs upon the Dune Sea. It was day seven on the first cycle of humility. Dealt numbers of damage, lots of fire. Uh, we took out 178 enemies. We summoned zero allies and took a lot of damage and didn't heal enough. And then after here, if we return to the main menu, we can actually uh, go to the, the Macabre, uh, and this will show us our builds of, in the past. So this is our top build of this type as we made it up to level 16. So that's actually not bad for me uh, now that we're playing on Steam. So I just wanted to say, uh, if this is a game that seems interesting to you and you feel like you may enjoy messing around with different builds, uh, give this game a look. Uh, it's currently, like I said, free in a sort of a demo format on itch.io and Steam. Uh, links are down in the description to this video. And uh, if you would like to check the game, if you do check the game out, uh, let the developer know on Twitter or something that I sent you because he's a, he's a cool dude. And I hope this game does well when it releases proper uh, or at the very least, you know, add it to your wish list or something. And then if you would like to support me and the work I do here di correct directly, uh, you can do that either via my Patreon, which is now on the screen, or by picking up a mug or a piece of merchandise. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.